Hey guys, welcome to part five of my Discord.py making a bot in, or making a Discord bot in Python YouTube tutorial series. Uh, in this video, we're going to be going over how to create an auto roll system. So, what an auto roll system is is essentially um, you assign a role to a new user. And so, why you'd want to do that is let's say the default role that you are assigning to users. Um, that sort of Discord has just set up for you is not adequate in the sense that you want more customizability um, and just you want the options that you would normally have when creating your own personal role um, this would be a great option because you can now assign your custom role to a new user so that's essentially the gist of why you'd want to use it now let's get into coding it it's super short super quick this video in turn will probably be really short but whatever I mean I figure a lot of people might want to know how to do this so I'm doing it so essentially we're going to be using the event on member join and so to create an event we just say client dot event and then we say async def on member join just like that now this function here or this um, this event here on member join you have to pass in the member that is joining just because that's how discord.py has stated that this function works and it'll call it it'll call this function while also passing in a member for you to work with. Pretty straightforward. So in order to get the role that you want to uh, give to your member, you're essentially going to want to use a Discord function. It's a utility function, and it's this, discord.utils.get. And essentially what this function does is it will iterate through a iterable and I say iterable because I'm not necessarily sure if, um, let's say, the um, server roles is a list or a tuple or whatever, a set, I don't know. Um, but it's an iterable, and it'll iterate through all of those uh, objects or you know elements in the iterable until it finds an element that matches the parameters that are given. So this will become pretty self-explanatory as we get to it. So first we want to pass in our iterable. So essentially we're going to get the server roles. So we say member.server.roles. Pretty straightforward. And then we're going to set a name. And the name of my role, as I've created in my test server, is example role. Pretty straightforward. And the way you'll tell if it worked is the roles will be displayed separately. That's the only difference from the everyone. I could even give it a color. I'll give it purple just for fun. But yeah, so the name is example role, example role. There we go. So now we have our role, and all we have to do now is assign it to the uh, the new user or the new member, and we do that by saying await client add roles, and we pass in the member and the role. That's literally it. Super straightforward command or super straightforward event. Uh, let's run it. And bot is ready, so let's go over here. I actually have a, another Discord account that I'm going to quickly join. Perfect. Test account is in here, and as you can see, they've been given example role. They're displayed separately, and their name is now purple. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so that's that's basically it. It's literally two lines of code. You just get the role and assign the role. It's literally it. You could do that with multiple roles if you felt like it. Um, you just have to obtain multiple roles and just keep assigning them. I'd assume so. I've never had to do it more than or assign more than one role um, because you could just if you needed to have different types of permissions, you could just make one general role and give all those permissions. But whatever, teach their own. Uh, I've never personally done it, so I wouldn't know how to do it efficiently. But um, I can explore that and let you know in the comments below if you have any questions. Um, but that's really it for this video. Uh, let's quickly go over what we did. So we used a new event on member join. I'm pretty sure we have not used this yet. I think we've only used on message before, but I've mentioned that this is an example event when I was explaining what events were. I, I'm pretty sure that's what I did. Not entirely sure, but either way, it works the same as any other event. Uh, we've learned how to use our first utility function. And uh, these are extremely useful, by the way, instead of having to say, you know, for role in member.server.roles, if role.name is equal to example role, um, and then role is equal to role or target role or whatever the heck I wanted. 
Um, it essentially just you know chunks that uh, code down. It does the exact same thing, and it's a little bit less messy. And then just we also learned how to use this add roles function here. Uh, all we do is pass in the member and the role, and that's it. It worked perfectly. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, leave your comments below for what types of um, you know Discord bot functionalities you want to see in the future. Um, otherwise, I'm really just going to look through my old bots or what other popular bots are out there and see what I can make and uh, throw into a video for you guys. Hopefully the videos aren't too long. This one should have been really short. I don't know exactly how long it is, but it's definitely under 10 minutes. But uh, that's it for this video. See you guys later. Bye.